So let's talk about network days and network days that I MTN. So when do we use network days? If we need to calculate the total number of working days within two dates, that is where we can apply the function name network days. In this example, I have a receive date column and my objective is to, to display the number of working days passed since the receive date. On the other column, the next objective is to calculate the number of working days passed since the receive date as well. But the difference between the two, the first column calculates number of days from Monday to Friday only, while the second column calculate the num calculates the number of days from Monday to Saturday. Now, in network days, we can also add holidays. Let me go to this worksheet, holidays. I added here all given holidays from year 2020 up to year 2021. Before I start working with network days function, let me highlight all the dates given in this worksheet, starting from cell A2 up to cell A37. Next, let me go to name box and type here holidays and press enter. Okay, now let me go back to example one, calculate for the number of working days from the given receive date up to the current date. The current date today is January 6, 2021. In order to do that, you can simply type equal network days, open parenthesis, uh, network list has three syntax, start date, end date, and holidays. Start date is the given receive date, comma, end date is the current date today, comma, the last syntax is holidays. So let me type here holidays. When you say holidays, it, it will include all the date selected in the holidays worksheet from cell A2 to A37. Those dates will be considered as non-working day. All right? When I press enter, network days will calculate for all the number of working days passed from the receive date up to the current date. Next, how about if I want to include Saturday as a working day in the process? How can I calculate the number of working days with Saturdays and excluding all the holidays? So in order to calculate for that, type equal network days dot intl. Equal network days dot intl as far as syntax, start date, end date, weekend, and holidays. Start date is the given receive date, comma. End date is today, January 6, 2021. For the weekend, you can choose any of these available weekend options. If we if we want Sunday as the non-working day for each week, we can actually type 11 on this syntax. 11 means Sunday, comma, the last syntax is holidays. So what will happen is network days will include Sundays, sorry, Saturdays as part of working days while excluding Sundays as non-working day. Also, on the last part of the syntax, we still have the holidays. Whatever dates specified in the holidays worksheet will be automatically excluded in the total count of number of days. 
even if the holidays is in the Saturday. Okay, so when I press enter, and then autofill, so these are the results of calculating number of working days from the received date to the current day today. Now, another set of example, let me go to example number two. This time, we have deadline. I need to know how many number of working days before the deadline using Monday to Friday as my working day and in the next column using Monday to Saturday as my working day. So again, let me use equal network days. Open parenthesis for the start date, we can type today. Today is January 6, 2021. End date is the deadline given. And then holidays. All right. So if you want to monitor the number of working days before a certain deadline, this formula will be very useful. So when I press enter, Excel will notify me that still have this number of days before my given deadline. And lastly, what if I want to include Saturday on the loop? Again, we can implement network days, that INTL, open parenthesis, start date is today, end date is the deadline given, and last 11 to exclude Sunday as non-working day, and holidays, exclude all the holidays as non-working day. Okay, so with that, when we press enter, auto fill. So we have here now the number of working days before the deadline given from July 31, 2021. Sorry, from January 6, 2021 up to July 31, 2021, we have 143 days. Monday to Friday, and 170 days, Monday to Saturday, excluding the holidays, right, in the loop. Okay, so that's it for network days.